Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is your girl, Angel Baby. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you guys check out our Anderson Family channel. We are going to be starting our food reviews. So make sure you go over there and show us some love. Subscribe to the channel. We are going to be trying all sorts of food from the most unhealthiest to the most healthiest and everything in between. You can find the link in the comments and you can also find it in the description. I am always two steps ahead. This has been the greatest social experiment for my entire life. And he's not lying. Wow. What can I say? Nikocado avocado. I'm not going to lie. I'm shocked and I am extremely speechless. Seems as if Nikocado avocado has made a full transformation, y'all. A full transformation in what he calls his greatest social experiment yet. Nikocado Avocado says he has dropped 250 pounds, you guys. 250 pounds? Now, Nikocado Avocado, it seems like he has been MIA, but he has been uploading old videos, y'all. Now, I'm going to say everything in this video it has to be either alleged, my thoughts and opinion, and or my perception. Over the years, Nikocado Avocado has managed to captivate his audience with his larger than life personality and his I don't give a darn attitude. And we have also seen Nick take mukbanging to a whole nother level. Now, he is known for his massive portions. He eats enough to feed a family of 10. But was it all just a front? Because at the end, we actually started to see Nikocado Avocado crumble. Now, he's even shared, you know, the stage with his husband, Orlin. And they have been very controversial, very abusive toward each other, both physically and and verbally and eventually it became a point to where the once loved nikocado avocado actually became the villain as he likes to call it there was a time when people were joined together to try to ban nikocado avocado off of his platform saying that his brand had become toxic things eventually went from bad to worse we started seeing Nikocado Avocado not being so mobile. He went from walking around Walmart to rolling around in a scooter and eventually needing a machine, an apnea machine, to make sure that he would not stop breathing. I think at first for Nick, it probably was about him wanting to be liked, wanting to be accepted. And when him first starting out, I think he realized the more he ate, the more he would get that attention, the more people would see him, the more that he would feel like he was relevant. And I feel like to a lot of people, it was funny until it wasn't funny anymore. You know, it wasn't funny anymore. People did not want to see Nikocado Avocado lose his life. I didn't want to see Nikocado Avocado lose his life. Not over mug banging not over wanting to be accepted, not over trying to impress and please other people. Because in the end, this is what you're left with. Now, I'm pretty sure that it takes a toll on you mentally as well as physically, you know. Can't be easy being in the limelight and just watching yourself change for the worse every single day. That's why with our channel, the Anderson Family Channel, I wanted to bring something different. It doesn't have to always be unhealthy. I want it to be choices for everybody. So that's why I think it's important to try to break down the stigma of mug bangs, how they have to be unhealthy. Because they don't have to be. And here's the new Nikocado Avocado. And only thing I'm thinking is, Nick, how did you do it? Like, how did you do it? Now, I have a few theories. I was thinking maybe Nick got surgery 
or something like that. But I know he was pretty heavy, you know, and he stretched out of his body. So I'm like, he doesn't have any skin hanging. I was looking at his arms. I didn't see any scars. So I'm thinking, could it be this Ozempic that everybody is craving about? Or should I say these Hollywood folks allegedly? Because let me tell you guys, they say with this Ozempic or whatever, you'll lose weight. But there's supposed to be side effects behind it. And I don't think it's too good. Anything that can make you lose weight like that can't be too good for you. Not to mention, we're taking away from the people who have diabetes and stuff like that. Like there was a shortage for people who actually needed their medication. And they couldn't get it at one point. Because these celebrities were allegedly taking their Ozempic. Now I want to make it clear, I'm not saying that Nick is on Ozempic or has been on Ozempic. I'm just saying that that's one of my theories. Now another thing that I've thought about, I just hope it's not some kind of ED or something like that because, I mean, that would not be good. I mean, that's not good. And not just that, I sort of noticed that Nick looked a little pale you guys um like around his mouth area it was a little discolored and his hands looked a little yellowish also his eyes were red so i don't know if he had been crying um it looks like he had been crying maybe but he went on you guys to eating more massive amounts of food and i'm like this is not healthy you can't lose the weight gain the weight and he said that this was about 3,000 calories and Nick said that he was still hungry so what is next for Nick Nicocado Avocado like is he going to give us his secrets are we going to be able to get some workout videos are we going to be able to get some tips or is he just going to sit there with that look because that look right there is I'm back like I I'm that you know what I'm saying like I'm I'm that but regardless, I wish Nick Akato Avocado all the best of luck on this new journey. That he, you know, he says that he woke up from this bad dream. He's been asleep for eight years. So let's see, now that he's awake, what is he going to do with being woke? I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I really want to know your guys' thoughts and opinion on the whole situation. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time. Bye guys.